What's going on, gamers? Happy Tuesday. Hope you enjoying yourself. Today we are bringing part two of how to think like a pro player. Today we're going to go over a sneak peek of my offensive scheme. If you want the full breakdown, the Patreon or the ebooks are down in the link in the description. Now I'm going to show y'all how to run different blitzes and disguises and then how to have coverage defense. Now, the key thing on Madden is some of it is luck, some of it is exploits. So as long as you know that going into the game, we're going to set our audibles right now. I am in the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook, New York Jets defense. So the first thing I do is come out and watch what my opponent is doing. He's showing me that his stock defense is cover three. So now he just audibled into something. So we're going to audible into something. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking for the underneath route. I'm looking to see if it's hard flats A or B. So we're going to come. You can see that. I can hit this corner route right here. Possession catch. I didn't have enough space. And now we're going to keep him in that defense. Now, only thing we're going to do is flip it now. He came out in man coverage. I seen that it was in man coverage. So we're going to come out in these benches. So we're going to put a flat on that side. And then the wide side, we're going to leave both of the man coverage beaters. So we're going to hike the ball. Man coverage beater. So we're going to run it right here, take off with our quarterback. He bumped the guy on the left side. So we got one rush for eight yards. So we're going to continue to run our offense. He comes out in the cover three that time. And like I said, now we've seen a cover three. So we're going to set up a cover three beater this time. So we should be able to get over the top or underneath. So we're going to put that drag on there just because if he doesn't have a spot, we'll be able to get underneath. We're going to take that route every single time. We get a little bit of space, a little bit of room, make somebody miss, get down to the sidelines, easy, easy, touchdown. Underneath, 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 he was aggressive, standing man coverage, and I took advantage of it. Last play showed me cover three. I set up for the cover three. I put that drag at the last moment in case it was a cover three sh uh, shell and they play sticks. So unless they put spies on the field, uh, cross man that guy, that drag will get open in your offense almost 99% of the time now if your opponent is trying to stop everything that you're doing that's the reason why I come out in one play audible into another because I don't want him to get comfortable with anything that I'm doing on offense I got two different schemes that he has to pick up uh, on the fly so like the last video if you didn't watch it make sure you go check that out I'm setting up coverage all on the right side And pressure on the other side so he's coming out in a uh, single back bunch so we're gonna play for the run there's the pitch there's a reverse and we end up getting it now if they on that trip side you want to make sure that you got that guy wide is on the field in a deep blue a deep half a deep quarter something like that so he's coming out in wing pair we're gonna come out in the uh, pinch bug O or the pinch Mike so I'm gonna flip the play, I'm gonna spread line, crash down, and I'm gonna press. I'm gonna blitz everybody because I wanna get that initial pressure in there. And there's a play action, but we got pressure coming, gets the fumble. Now we gotta pick it up, take it for a pick six. Whenever they go in them compressed type of offenses, it might be a shorter video. You call the timeout, you're probably gonna quit. They come into them compressed formations. You just got to make quick adjustments. It's okay if he start hitting you with slants and underneath routes with that single wide receiver because you can make adjustments to that. You can bluff blitz somebody, put a spot right there, drop a yellow zone right there, assist with the corner routes. It's a lot of different things so you can play like a pro. You don't have to be uh, the best at Madden. All you got to do is have a little knowledge. So he's back in that single back bunch. And like I said... We're going to put this guy in the blue. We want him to play to them sidelines. So there he is with the pitch again. We got all kinds of uh, run defense coming in there. Negative six yards. So he's back in that bunch again. We just playing his contain. We dropping him in the blue. We can shade over the top. Bring him a couple steps like that. And we're not worried about anything like this underneath routes. So he's going to try to play maker. He might throw it to that sideline over there. He's running all the way back looking for somebody to be open. He can't get us with that route. So now he's at I4 wing. We're gonna flip the play, we're gonna spread line, crash down, blitz all linebackers. I'm gonna drop him in the deep in the deep blue. And we're gonna come over here and hover. He's gonna need a lot of time to throw the ball. And you can see 
that fast, fast pressure gets in there. It's real easy, real simple. Madden 20 is about being aggressive but being smart at the same time. It's small things that you need to know and then you can be a better Madden player. You don't always have to send blitzes. You see, I dial up the blitzes once I see the formation that I want. Now, if you go into a spread offense, I will go into something like the big dime, the dime two, three, six. My opponent is quitting the game. We went 100% on offense, very aggressive on defense, and got an easy, easy win. It's all love. 30 likes. I will drop another video for y'all. Let's go.